Guess what? It's fixed. My Rubik's Cube is fixed a mundo. See, I fixed it. Because remember a few weeks ago I talked about how how my Rubik's Cube was screaming. Remember that? How a few weeks ago I talked about that? But but guess what? I was able to fix it. See? See? It was fixed. So now it's no longer screaming. I took the Roo back out of Rubik's Cube. It's no longer Roo. Because remember a few weeks ago I, I did this and I had like a, a piece about how each uh, each uh, part of it was ruined. Now, the orange face was completely shattered and I was able to fix it like right there. I had all the parts to it but see the orange face, the, the orange face when it was broken I was able to glue it back together where the orange centerpiece was. So now the orange face works well again. And the red face was totally shattered. I mean, the red face was demolished, but I was able to fix it, too. See, and you can, um, as long as you handle it gently, it will not revert to ruination. But, um... Oh, shit! Gosh, that makes me mad when people call right in the middle of something. So, anyway, this is, uh... It's still a little bit stiff going around that part right there. So, see, this is, uh... If you handle it gently, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. See, you just have to kind of soften it up and break it back in again. Not break it, but break it back in again. So, uh, see, that's how it works. So I, I had to glue it back. See, I used glue. I used, I used Elmer's. That's right. Elmer. I, I remember I had a professor. I, we used to call him the glue professor because his name was Elmer. But uh, anyway, this was, uh, this is what I had to use. This is all I had. I didn't have any super glue or crazy glue or anything like that. So I used Elmer's to glue the parts back, to, uh, glue the broken parts back together. There's the broken parts. I was able to glue them back together. And, but Elmer's glue is not as good as it used to be. I remember when I was growing up, we get Elmer's glue, and it would, uh, it would, uh, it would stick for good, and it would dry fast, and it would stick good. Now it takes forever for it to dry, and it doesn't even, it doesn't even always work. Some stuff it just doesn't work anymore like it used to. This used to be some good stuff for gluing things together. And especially, this is especially frustrating is how a, a dried layer of glue would always form at the tip and it would, it would pretty much ruin the whole bottle because the rest of the glue wouldn't come out. I call it the Elmer Dermis. That's what I call this. The layer of glue that dries on the tip. It's, I call it the Elmer Dermis. And, uh, this stuff used to be much better when I was growing up. It was much more effective. It dried, it dried faster, and it stuck better. I don't know what they done to it. But um, this is uh, Elmer's. And I remember one time in uh, this is in grade school. The packaging used to be a little bit different. Because Elmer used to, Elmer used to not uh, his smile used to not be real wide like that. Like now he's like. But back then, he used to be like... But uh, I remember when I was growing up, I think this was something I did. It might have been somebody, something somebody else did, but I think it was something I did. I think it was like when I was in third grade when this happened. I, I uh, cut, uh, This was in, in, in third grade, I think. 
I cut one of the pictures out of the out of the a book. And these this was not a consumable textbook at school. This is a this is like a a, a textbook that had to be used year after year. But there's a drawing. I think it was a religion book since this was at a Catholic school. And there was a drawing of some kid in, in the religion book. I cut a picture of his face out of the book, out of the religion book, and glued it over Elmer on the Elmer's glue bottle. And I would have gotten away with it, except somehow some 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 punk in my in my class tattled on me. And this kid was a bully too. He's here. He's here complaining about me sticking sticking a picture from a religion book over a over a glue bottle. He said, "You, he said, you know what Tim Brown did? He 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 cut a picture out of the, he cut a picture of a boy out of a religion book and glued him over the cow on the glue bottle." Some kid in my class said that, and he was a bully. He was. He was, he was so worried about the stuff I was doing, but he, but yet, I remember one time he was taking the, the taking the trash out at school, and he beat me up. And then later on in high school, we went to a, we went to different high schools, and he beat me up on the bus. And, but now he's got like a long criminal. Rap. I could put up his mug shots if you want me to, because he's got a long criminal rap sheet now. He he's he's a career criminal now so but, but I, I guess but I guess he hasn't been in trouble for the crime of of cutting pictures out of books and sticking them over the cow on the glue bottle but that's what that's what happened and I think it was third grade and I and I don't have any super glue or crazy glue either remember the commercial for crazy glue where the guy the <laughs> where the guy st sticks the st sticks his uh he puts crazy glue on his hard hat and then dangles down from the beam and dances there and says look how crazy glue it's and it's remember the commercial said crazy glue you dirty rat and the, it shows the guy dangle crazy gluing his hard hat to the beam and then and then uh dancing in, in the air he was suspended from from the beam. He was just hanging there from the beam. And they said, look what crazy glue can do. It can hold this 180 pound man from this beam. And really, it was because he was hanging onto the beam with his hands. That's why he was able to that's that's why he was able to dangle there, because he was hanging he was hanging onto the beam. It's not because the crazy glue was so powerful. It's because it's because he was hanging there from the beam, and they acted like this stuff was just so miraculous. I I had some once, and it didn't really work all that well. But uh, he was. Uh, it might have worked for the Rubik's cube though, because there is a website that recommends repairing Rubik's cubes using crazy glue. But uh, he he was dangling from the. And I remember, yeah, so that's how, that's the story of using Elmer's glue to fix your Rubik's Cube.